Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to find out the road which is fall within the certain kilometer distance from the center of the city. So suppose here I have created the center of the city and I'm interested to see within a five kilometers how many roads are coming. So for that, you need this road distance shape file and also you require the center of the city. You will see I have the center of the city. Also, I have this road shape file. And for that, I have created a multi-ring buffer. So what we can do that, if you don't know how to do this, you can visit our channel in that I have already uploaded some videos. So here I have shown how to create a multi-ring buffer. Okay. And how you can able to download the data. For that, you can watch this video, how to download the open street map data. You can able to download the road shape file buildings. Then also you can able to download some natural features. There are many data set you can able to download. So just need to go and visit our channel. You will see there are many videos are available. So now I'm interested how we can able to get this. So for what we can able to do, we just need to split this. I have this multi-ring buffer. And uh, before going to split this, I want to tell you that this point should be before creating this multi-ring buffer, this data should have in projected coordinate system. It should have in meter. So if you'll check it in the properties, you will see this is already uh, in a UTM zone 44. Okay, U unit is meter. So it should have some measurable distance. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll split these two polygons, this five kilometer polygon. Okay, so I have these two polygon. One is for five, uh, this 5,000 meters means five kilometer and this is 10,000. So within a five or 10 kilometer, I want to know how much area, how much roads are coming or how many roads are coming. So what we can able to do, we just split this. How we can able to split, just go to analysis tool. Then split by attribute option is there, okay? Analysis tool, then extract and split by attribute. So just select the multi-ring buffer. Target means where you want to save this. So where are you want to save? So just need to go to folder. So I will save here by the name of point data folder and just you need to select and add here and on the base of distance these are on the base of distance i'm going to split this select the distance and just click on ok so it is saying that we have split successfully just need to go to the folder where we are working so let i will refresh this after that this is the point data and I have this five and let I will uncheck this and this is for the 10 kilometers. Okay. So let will, it is easy now to get how many roads are coming within the, this center of the city. So now let's, we will go to our toolbox. Uh, we'll use the clip tool here. Clip. So this is also in analysis and clip. What we'll do here, input feature is my road. Okay, these are my road. And clip feature is suppose we'll see for the 5,000 meter first. And where you want to say, we need to provide output location. So 5,000 road. Just click on okay. So let I will uncheck this. So you will see these are the roads are coming within the five kilometers. So similar way you can follow for the this 10 kilometer circle. Okay. For this circle you can follow. So you will know that what are the roads are coming from 10 kilometers of circle. So this way you can able to do how we can able to do this in QGIS that also we'll see. So similar way, I have this point data. Okay. So let, I will go to properties. Okay. So this is the point data and this is the road. So similar way, I will add here a multi-ring buffer. So vector data. So multi-ring open add 
and close okay so <clears throat> how to split this you will right click go to properties and let i will categorize this on the base of distance apply okay so how to split in qgis just go to vector data management tool and split vector layer so select a multi-ring buffer on the base of distance where i want to save this i will go to dictionary and here i will create a new folder or i will save it on the same folder and okay in the point data folder i will save and just click on run okay i have successfully saved data so let's will check here d drive then video lecture then this is the point data and here is this you will see this is the distance for 10 kilometer and this is for 5 okay so now same way what we can able to do just go to clip okay so use this clip provide your road uh, provide your uh, road shape file okay and then distance and you can save your file here i'll just go by default and click on run close and uncheck this so you will see within the five kilometers these are the roads are coming so it is very easy you can follow these techniques in qjs also and also in arcgis also i will provide the details of the video in the description box if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment sections thank you